it has been a very rewarding time. Um, I uh, at one point removed all social media from my phone and I even gave myself time boundaries for going on my phone at all. Um, I removed certain applications from my desktop computer even and I I even simplified those things which I am passionate about, let's say as as hobbies or activities like photography. I used to alternate between using my phone and using a camera, like a dedicated camera, and I have now switched over to just using my camera, and on that camera I just use one lens, and that specific lens is a prime lens, which means it doesn't zoom, and it forces me to narrow my focus when I'm outside in the woods taking pictures. That's usually when I take pictures. When I'm out in the woods, outside somewhere, take pictures of leaves and trees and flowers and weeds and water and rocks and moss and all that stuff. And when you have a zoom, when you have an array of lenses, or even when your one lens is a zoom lens, it opens up the realm of possibilities for what you can look for to take pictures of. And, well, there's nothing inherently wrong with that. For someone like me who tends to go into a sort of analysis paralysis or, or really obsesses over possibilities and potential uh, because I'm a sort of overly open person. I don't like to narrow my realm of possibility, realms of possibilities. But with that comes anxiety. And as I have simplified things, like in the case with photography, there is a tremendous amount of peace that comes with the limitations that I've put upon myself. And, and it's not just peace, but it has forced me to pay more attention to the limited space in which photography is relevant for me with the equipment that I've limited myself to. So instead of walking over a fallen leaf or weed or a patch of moss that I might normally have walked over in favor of some grander scene, um, I'm now more inclined to see things that I didn't pay attention to before because I had so much else to pay attention to. So these restrictions on myself have somewhat paradoxically opened up my possibilities while simultaneously, by simultaneously, restricting my possibilities. So that's with photography. I've also picked painting back up. I've dabbled in painting very sparingly over the course of my life. 
My mom used to paint with oil paints when I was a kid, and I was always fascinated by it, especially when she would paint mountains and trees, stuff like that. A little cabin, a stone wall, and I inherited some stuff from her for, uh, after she passed, some art supplies, and so I picked that up. And I discovered there's this palette called the Zorn palette, and the palette is just your your possible colors that you start with. And the Zorn palette is just four colors, three technically. It's ivory black, which is a very dark blue. There's a red, and there's a yellow, and then there's white. White, white's technically not a color, I guess. So, so I've restricted myself in painting to just use this particular palette, you know, where I can. What are my realm of possibilities? Well, I have to see the new realm of possibilities within the limited colors that I have to choose from, and mix together. So I get the most out of those colors. The most out of those colors, which I might not normally get out of them if I had a whole array, a giant palette to start from. I've also simplified uh, guitar playing. To where instead of a guitar and effects pedals and an amp and an interface and, 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 and. Now I just have my guitar. I have this gadget that I plug into my guitar that allows me to connect it with a USB cable to the computer to record. It allows me to plug in headphones to listen. And it has effects and amp simulators built in. So I have everything that I need. I can literally pick up my guitar anywhere, anytime that I'm home play something, if I like it, I can record it immediately and I'm done. And then I can go on to something else. And as someone who has ADHD, this has also been extremely helpful, simplifying those passions of mine so that I can very quickly and seamlessly go from one to another and never find myself having spent hours and hours on this one thing without making any decisions because the possibilities are too endless, or too open. So what I've found really through this journey towards simplification is that it's, I probably had this underlying desire for peace and this desire, I suppose this is maybe the same thing, for the resolution of anxiety. The prevention of anxiety to some extent, the management of anxiety. And part of this includes, at least for some time being, however long this season lasts, and it may be permanent for me. And the way I feel right now, that would be perfectly fine with me. This includes no longer engaging in long-form discussions on my channel. That's why I've renamed it back to my own name. Um, I don't want to contribute to a landscape of distraction, as well-meaning, as well-intentioned as I might be, I don't want to contribute to that. Um, by doing so, I contribute to my own landscape of distractions, which I just don't need. It's just not good for me. 
as I mentioned, I'm, a, I'm an overly open person. I say overly, which has a negative connotation to it, but I'm just a, let's say, abnormally open person. And so I need to submit myself to, let's perhaps, overly stringent order in order to manage the anxiety because I'm also, and this maybe goes hand in hand with being open, uh, I also have ADHD, which again carries with it anxiety over potentiality. I tend to be a yes man. I tend to be uh, overly agreeable. All of these things contribute to me watering me down. It's like in painting, let's say when you're doing oil painting, One of the principles is to paint thick over thin. So you start painting thin, you use some sort of paint thinner, some sort of uh, medium, it's called, to thin out your paint, makes it kind of smoother to, to brush across. If you use too much of it, it completely sort of desaturates the color becomes more transparent, almost more like a watercolor. And that is what happens to me. That is what was happening to me with Agapologia. And I don't think that's the case for everybody. I don't think that's the case for most people even. Again, I'm just... I have a particular brew of traits about me that don't make me particularly well suited for for doing something like agapologia. These long-form discussions and open-ended live stream love streams, I really I did enjoy them. There's, there's lots of things that I enjoy that are not inherently evil, that are nonetheless not good for me. So I'm going to keep things simple. I'm probably going to simple, simplify things some more. I need to rein myself back in on some things that I've let go in terms of simplicity. Like with my phone. I find myself back on my phone again a little too much. i got to rein that back in. So, I wanted to give you all this update, but also use this, I suppose, as an opportunity to uh, announce, I suppose, a change in the direction of this channel. It may be a reversion back to something this channel was at one point, which was mostly mostly clips of nature anyways. But all I'm going to do here, I think, I'm not committing anything to anything here, the way I feel right now, and to keep it with the idea of simplicity, and I'm just going to share things here that I have been attending to. My photography, I'll probably take little video clips out in nature. Maybe I'll share some of my paintings and some of my music. And maybe it'll be all three at once. It's not a bad idea, I guess.
maybe I'll overlay, maybe I already did when you're watching this, overlay video footage of nature and some of the photos I've taken and some of the paintings that I've created. And that's it. Not sure, I'm not sure if I'll be sharing my audible voice anymore in my videos after this. Might just be those things which I for some reason see as worthy of my attention, I suppose. Or those things which I, that's this is how I should say it, those things which I have been blessed to have been pulled towards. And that my, that I've been fortunate that my attention has, has found them, that they've been revealed to me. I don't want this channel to be about me at all. Which might sound strange since it'll quote unquote be my videos and my pictures and my paintings, but I really don't think they have much to do with me at all. I'm just listening and doing, obeying, hopefully, to the best of my ability. I love you all.